I'm back today with 2022 beauty favorites. I just posted my luxury favorites where I focus more on the luxury purchases. This video is more about other beauty products like clothes and random bits that I loved in 2022. My ultimate favorite, which is the holy main collagen. I feel like I talked about this way too much on this channel. I think this is really helping me with my skin texture, skin recovery. I would say I started noticing some kind of difference around my second bag. So this is definitely something you have to be committed to and be consistent with. You have to take this every single day. I like to take it like pretty much like the first thing in the morning. And I feel like this lasts a little longer than a month even though it says it's good for 30 days because I started taking this in August and I just started my fourth bag. So it definitely lasts a little bit longer than a month. I'm going to take this for at least six months straight or at least like six bags. So I have two more that I stocked up during the Black Friday sale. So if there's any sale going on, like definitely take advantage because I know it's like a pricey item. I think this is good for pretty much anyone. Like I can't Think of anyone that wouldn't want amazing hair, skin, and nails. Like that's kind of like a given. And this product only has two ingredients. So I feel like this is really the true form of collagen and going to be like the most effective. I don't know. I just love this brand. I pretty much replace a lot of my skincare with this brand as well. So highly recommend. Next, I want to talk about coffee. So coffee has been kind of like a struggle for me this year. I'm kind of over Nespresso. I don't know. I feel like this year I really kind of got over the Nespresso like or any pod coffee in general. They just don't taste as good as like regular coffee through all this trial and error. I mean, there were some that were way worse than others, but there was one that I did love i'm kind of getting sick of it now though because i've been drinking that for like three months i think caramel macchiato from williams sonoma it looks like this it's the same exact shade as their pumpkin spice one so it's very very confusing but the caramel macchiato is the best one i think at least from williams sonoma just tastes like pretty good coffee it tastes not as fake as other ones um some of them are just like so bad like so burnt and just bitter and like gross but this doesn't taste like that until i get like an actual espresso machine that uses ground coffee i think i'm gonna stick to this one another item that i mentioned a lot on this channel um this year is by Rado. This was like my ultimate favorite, like my very first love. So I have the big one and the small one for like travel purposes. And then yesterday, I was just like kind of feeling this one. So I sprayed it and oh, it was so amazing. I don't know why, but Belta Freak is very like winter, like cold weather scent. I, I think I'm gonna spray this one today too. This lasts a long time. And just like with any other perfumes, there's so many different layers. So over time, it smells a little bit different. Like when you smell your clothes, it just smells a little bit different, but like just better, you know, it's so good. I love Byredo in general because I mean, first of all, the design is amazing. It's magnetic. I love anything magnetic, like magnetic lids and caps. I just love. See, now that I'm looking at them, like I don't know which one's my absolute favorite because it's very seasonal. It depends on like my mood, what I'm wearing that day, like where I'm going. So you just gotta go to a store, just smell everything and see what you like. But that brand in general, I highly recommend. There were a lot of makeup products that I tried out this year and loved, but I really wanted to narrow it down to my absolute favorite. And it is the Chanel Waterton. The first one I got was in the shade medium dark or medium deep something like that and it was definitely like my summer shade and as soon as i started to kind of lose my summer tan it was getting way too dark on me so i recently picked this up the medium light and it really really suits my skin tone very well it's in a plastic bottle so i don't have to worry about like dropping it or like shattering it everywhere and it comes with the pump so nice and this actually comes with a little brush as well because you're supposed to use that dense brush to activate like these little capsules one downside is that i feel like you go through this product really really fast because i see the pump going up 
like every day so that's not good but regardless it's an amazing amazing product i can't name a single product that is similar to this it's basically like skincare plus foundation all in one i don't want to call it a tinted moisturizer though because it's not a moisturizer it feels more serum -y. i will demonstrate for you guys this little dot right here is like three bucks <laughs> kidding but like probably like 50 cents i don't know it comes out like this very very like watery and like serum-y and you just blend it out and it becomes like this colored like tinted serum it's not a moisturizer it's like a serum it feels amazing on your skin you know how like when you put on like a hydrating serum on your face it just feels very cooling that's what it feels like and it surprisingly has pretty good like buildable coverage so yeah definitely like my number one makeup item of 2022 i'm korean so i've used korean face masks like my entire life and this year i've only used mediheal like pretty much the entire year just like different range or like different categories the collagen one is my absolute favorite it's the pink one they're not too expensive you know like they're not like ten dollars a pop or anything so you can use them very often like multiple times a week my friend recently got me this one the placenta one but i don't know i just really like the collagen one i really think this is the best one and this is good as well this one however the moisturizing one i tend to like ones with very like thick almost kind of like cream like serums inside and this one you can see it's basically like water i mean it's good and like cooling especially for like the summer days when it's like too hot but i think the thicker ones it just makes me feel like it's doing more work for my skin so that's what i prefer i have tried a good amount of korean face masks in my life and i would say mediheal is probably up there on my list for me it really boils down to what kind of serum is in it and also i know it sounds crazy but the fabric that they use so i like it more like cloth like and some of them are too like flimsy dry too fast but like this is like a very good happy medium i feel like all masks should be like this my strategy is to get a mask that's cheap but like pretty good for the price and just use it every single day or like as often as you can it's just hard to keep up because you get lazy but if you are diligent enough like just get a bunch of these and try to use them every single night and you'll notice that your skin is so plump and moisturized your makeup will go on so much smoother so these would be the ones i would recommend and i want to close this off with two clothing items i mean i love beauty but i feel like clothes are really my biggest weakness and <laughs> this year i would have to say my very favorite clothing piece is this dress kind of pinup girl vibe corset dress from with john i say with john because it has um an accent i just want to wear this again i brought it with me on my trip to europe and i wore it in both paris and london like that's how much i loved it if i could i would have worn it like every single day thick white band at the front that goes all the way to the back it's just so edgy like there's something about it that makes you look so like i don't know like so cute and like pretty and it's also like slit in the back it's just the little things like that really get me and also it has the brand name all written over but it's very very low key like you really gotta look for it it's a corset dress so you can feel that like bone in there i think many dresses definitely look the best on me and there's something about this color that i just love the same color as the top that i'm wearing right now i just love this kind of shade like gray blue purple all in one i love it i wish i could wear this more often but for now we're in the winter season so you'll have to wait <laughs> and then my last item is something that's just like a very casual thing but i have it in like three different colors from brandy malvo i think they call it lydia tank it's a very very simple tank you might be wondering like why are you showing this but trust me this is one of the best things ever i bought the black one and the gray one last year i had them for a little over a year and i pretty much live in these so yesterday i went out and got the white one finally they also have another color it's kind of like oh it's like this it's like this top it's like a bluish like purpley color like navy i think they call it 
I really want it too, but I can only find it online, so we'll see. These are just so comfy. They're very flattering on your chest. It's kind of like a sports bra, and I've basically replaced all my bras with this. I just wear this all the time, even to sleep and during the day if I'm working. I wear this, wear like a sweater on top or like a zip-up hoodie on top. They're just so cute, and I feel like you could wear this out as well, like this with like jeans. I know, so random, but... You have to check these out. They're so good. Oh, I almost forgot to mention. I have shoe of the year to share with you. Basically, my most worn shoe. These Golden Goose. If you know me in person, you've probably seen me in these shoes like every single time you saw me. That's how embarrassing it is. Because these shoes are made to look dirty to begin with, like I can't even tell if all this dirt is from my wearing or... It's just the way they are and I have to recommend Golden Goose high necks with the zipper in the middle This is life-changing. I love wearing these with like skirts leggings Jeans like dresses like so good to kind of tone down your outfit just look very casual and chic so those are all my favorites from 2022. I'll link my luxury favorites down below. Happy holidays. Happy new year to everybody. And I'll see you in the new year. Bye.